Hey butterflies, welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with me, Mona Cole. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I wanna thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated and a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on my website and on Patreon. Thank you for your continued support, my loves. So this is a grandmother ancestor message. Um, this energy, I was feeling a lot of proud energy, um, but it's two different proud energies. So the first energy was, is this song by Chris and T. Um, and I'm going to save that one for the part two in the members area so I can play it and not have to worry about copyright stuff. Um, it's called Proud of Myself. And then you have Proud Mary coming to, okay? <laughs> Big wheels keep on turning. Proud Mary keep on burning. And we rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. And we rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Get up to do 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 your grandmother, you watched it with her. Or she may have had a moment in her life that was very similar to that type of relationship. Or you have gotten out of something like that. Like, you've gotten yourself out of positions and spaces that were not the optimum for you, okay? They were very much so toxic. Um, very much so... Um, demonizing very much so pulling you back to another space okay and it's something about you breaking the mold of that you breaking the generational curse of that you breaking um, some type of generational tie when it comes to staying in a situation just because of you got it is money involved in it and you know or because it's kids involved in it and so you stay in these bad situations that is not allowing you to fully live and be fulfilled. It's something about noticing how different things that were passed down your lineage because of what was experienced in the relationships. So because of what was experienced in the relationship with, you know, great, great grandmama and granddaddy, that spiraled down to great grandma and granddaddy. Then it went down to grandma, granddad, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then you have to think of how many pieces add in. You have your mom's side and your dad's side of the family. So you're a culmination or the result of changes or life choices that you've experienced seeing those before you make and you making a decision based off of what you feel is best for you at this time. And I'm hearing your grandmother's energy, like saying, you know, you should be proud of yourself for the blessings that you have created in your lineage and your family. You should be proud of yourself for being able to acknowledge and see um, where something needed to get better, where something needed to stop with you and where something else was able to then be created with you. Okay. Your grandmother noticed it. Like I see her sitting in a chair like she's watching you on TV. I don't know if this was something that you both talked about a lot, you know, when you were younger about you being on TV or um, them seeing you on TV. But it's something about TV, television, being on TV, being seen. You're allowing something to be seen. 
that was not always allowed to be seen in the past. Your grandmother wasn't allowed to let it be seen. It's a similar gift that you both have. It's something that you do that she had inside of her, but she was unable to utilize it because of her life and the choices that she made and the choices that she chose to stay in. It's like the little things you heard her complain about or do, like you felt her energy. You felt her energy. You felt that this was something that you were meant to take further into life. You get what I'm saying? Something that you were meant to take further into life. Grandmother, what do you have for your babies? I saw the tower in the reverse. No, that's not the tower. That was the devil in the reverse. Um, I just heard you loosed yourself from the devil energy. You loosed yourself, okay? It's something about you still being covered by not only the prayers of your grandmother, but like your energy added in with it. It's like, it's giving major untouchable energy with this devil energy being in reverse. I'm hearing confuse the enemy because even within this, with the devil card, if you notice in the upright, there's signs, you know, it looks like street signs and things of that nature, which is pointing you which way to go, but it was in the reverse. So it's giving the vibes of like an energy being confused, not knowing which direction to go, which, you know what I'm saying, where to go. It's something about an energy that was trying to come in and confuse you or harm you and pull you back, being confused. They don't know how to attack you. They don't know how to come in and do their bid. They don't know how to come in and stop you or change your direction and things of that nature because you're so ironclad. Like, I'm hearing still tight, like bolted closed. You know, someone may even try to like come in and play with you and see, you know, what your boundaries would be. You know what I'm saying? To see um, if they could still weasel their way in a little bit. You know, if they just say the right thing at the right time. But it's something about mixed signals, um, mixed signals being shared that stops a lot of this shit from happening. Okay. You have the nine of baskets in the reverse. There's a lot of things in the reverse. And this gives me the vibe of some things that were tried to, like, it was tried to be passed down to you. You denied it. You didn't accept it. In the upright, it's like, you know, they're in this abundant relationship. And the first thing is giving me is like this abundant relationship of like luxury, you know, her being taken care of. But this is in the reverse. So you may have chosen another direction. I don't know why I just heard it. Ain't about to have no control over me. So I don't know if your grandmother had men who took, like, you know what I'm saying, a husband who took care of her. Look, I said, man, she, if she had more than one husband, honey, both of them, okay, they took care of her. But in the reverse, you may be approaching this way of life a little bit differently. Um, because I'm hearing something about not wanting to be controlled, wanting to have your own. So even if you do have that, you still making sure that you develop your own, create your own, compile, you know what I'm saying? Your own. I'm hearing not being too dependent on something or someone else to bring in this abundance energy. So it's something about learning how to work with other people and other energy as a way to 
obtain and get what it is that you need um, and you want at this time, being around the right energies, you know, um, being around the right energies. And a lot of people, I don't know what, what keeps coming to my head is the dark feminine energy. Many people run from that energy, but I feel like you haven't been running from it. And it's something with you not running from it that it allows you to see past the shadows of things. It allows you to not have fear about things that most people who only see the light has fear about. You see light even in the darkness because dark is of light. And it's something about you taking a path that was dark. It wasn't lit. It wasn't paved. So you had to be the one to pave it. You're paving a new path, you know, and she definitely has your back with this path that you're paving at this time. And she is so proud of you. She's proud of you for taking your own road. She's proud of you for breaking the different, you know, spills and things that were placed upon the family that kept a lot of you all stuck in places. She's proud of you for walking in your truth. She's proud of you for not allowing yourself to get tricked up. I, some of y'all, I don't know, because some one, one of y'all, at least one of y'all grandmama said this, because this just came in my head, but uh, not getting tripped up by no man, okay? And I'm hearing it just like that. I'm getting tripped up by no man, okay? She may have said by no no little girl too, okay? I don't know, but I'm getting that one real heavy. You know, not allowing yourself to get tripped up by someone. And now you get tripped up into a situation that you feel like you can't get out of. But it's something about you had a situation that it felt like you couldn't get out of, but you got out of it. It's like you defeated the devil energy and got away from it. And learned how to create your own abundance, you know. It's something about your mental health being affected by it as well. Your mental health being affected by it by, by it very positively, okay? Your mental health being affected by it very positively. How so? You have the daughter of wands. This is traveling. This is getting out, exploring, experiencing the world. Some of you all's grandmas, like you wish, she wished that she could travel and things of that nature. And you have the ability to travel. And so every time you travel somewhere else to a distant land, a new country, a new state, a new city, her energy, I'm hearing, you know, take me with you, you know, for her to be able to experience it as well. Because she's in an airport, like some type of terminal. She's in some type of terminal. And it's giving like a train station or an airport. Either way it go, it's fast movement, fast portal energy. Um, it's something about the more you expand yourself and learn and obtain, I'm hearing your intellect is increased. You may have been a kid who loved to read them different, you know, chapter books and stuff as a teen, you know.
what's going on with this nine of not nine i was thinking of the nine of wands but it's not the nine of wands it's the nine of baskets and then the daughter of wands i was just thinking of an idea that your grandmother is saying that you need to put yourself out there with there's an idea that you need to put yourself out there with that you've been holding on to you've been holding it into with yourself you haven't been releasing it you know something's been stopping you from releasing this thing what is this thing that's trying to stop because and that's the reason why i said trying to stop you because i'm hearing your grandmother say it's not real the fear is not real what is, what are you measuring it off of are you measuring success off of the backs of other people or are you measuring success off of the truth and the reality of self and who you are and what it will do for you. So how are you measuring success? Tell me what your life is like. How are you measuring success? How are you measuring success? Stop and ask yourself that. The high priestess is coming out. Some of you all are afraid of your own power, you know, of what could be, what it may mean, what may come with it. But who said you have to struggle like other people did? Who said you have to be stressed out like other people were? Money is not evil. It is not evil. It's the things that some people will do for it. Don't be afraid of success. Don't be afraid of what you know. Don't be afraid of success. Don't be afraid of what you know. We're about to head over to part two because I feel like this coincides with the 1111 angel number. Don't be afraid of your success. Don't be afraid of what you know. Don't be afraid of those dreams don't be afraid of them they're there for a reason they're there to show you a part of your internal self that craves to come out it craves to be seen. It craves to be heard. It craves to experience. It wants to experience this traveling. It's like some of you all refuse to leave and go somewhere else and try something different. It's like a fear of the experience because you may be the first one in your lineage to experience this thing. You have no need to be afraid. You have no need to be afraid. No need. Your fears are not real. It's literally what I'm getting. The fears is not real. As I see the devil in the reverse, it gives me the vibe of like a boogeyman. Like... The boogeyman is not really real. It's what you give meaning to of what makes it real, you know? But it's not real. What's up with the high priestess? The judgment. 
some of y'all are judging your visions you're judging it's like you're judging it but it, it feels like it's being judged off of the wrong measurement your grandmother is saying that you need to judge these things or these ideas and opportunities off of the correct measurement is not what you have to do what you're called to do is not just for human approval and satisfaction is for generational lineage things don't you know most greats they didn't get famous until they were dead yep as an author okay that's something i had to i don't want to say accept but as i go in and create I'm not creating for this generation. I'm creating for the lives after me, the years after me. And um, it was Baldwin who said, no one cares about the author until the author is dead. But they're the ones who've kept the world going round. They're the ones who have kept everyone on their toes and learning and loving reading but they weren't appreciated when they were here but in the afterlife they've created something that has lived on longer than them so their spirit is here still and your grandmother energy is saying the same thing happened with her and you her spirit lives on with you the same way the things that you create today and do moving forward is going to live on. All these banks and stuff, the people who started them, they, they gone. But their legacy is still here. And it's something about you creating legacy. It's something about you creating a new legacy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Because the only thing that would stop you is fear. Because the fear turns into doubt. Let's pull some energy on battling this before we get out of here. And part two is definitely about to be this 11-11 message, so... Members definitely be on the lookout for that. You have topical with harmony. The trigger statement could be, I am boiling over. The true statement, I allow myself to feel. Give yourself space to decompress and take time to nurture your body, mind, and spirit. Allow emotions to surface and release. And that was solar plexus energy. I need to find my mudras deck. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> you have steadying with anchor. The trigger statement, I am not ready for what comes next. The true statement, I take it one step at a time. Although things are shifting so quickly, be present and know this is part of a greater plan. Period. It's a part of a greater plan. Know it. Accept it. Love it. Embrace it. And transmute it. I thank you all for being here, my loves. Um, and may this provide you with guidance that you needed um, from the energy of your grandmother. We are going to take part two over into the membership areas with an 11-11 message because I feel like it was really connecting with that message um, that I channeled through a little bit. So 
we're going to move to that message in the membership area. If you're interested in becoming a member, you can check the links and things down below in my description box. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, the links are in the description box. Um, and I thank you for being here. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what your higher self and your spirit team is calling for you to do. Period. I love you and I'll see you later. Bye.